What do a toothbrush, a spoon, and a business card have in common? They're all everyday items you can use to get your makeup perfect. Don't believe us? Just wait until you see how useful these common household items can be in your beauty regime. You'll never look at a fork the same way again. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're sharing 10 brilliant beauty hacks to get your makeup perfect. Toothbrush for contouring. Toothbrushes aren't just for keeping your teeth and gums clean. They can also be used in your makeup regime. One of the cleverest beauty uses of a toothbrush is a contouring brush. Take your lead from beauty bloggers and sculpt your face with an oral care product. You can avoid the expense of pricey contouring tools by using a toothbrush with soft bristles instead, like those designed for children. These create a more natural look. Of course, only use this brush for your face, not your teeth as well. There are other beauty uses for toothbrushes, so you might want to stock up on a few. Toothbrushes can also be used to exfoliate lips before applying color. This gently smooths away dry skin. Add olive oil or Vaseline to the bristles to help remove any peeling, cracked, or scaly sections. You can also use a toothbrush to help tame unruly eyebrows. Instead of using an expensive brow gel, simply spray a little bit of hairspray on a toothbrush and use this to groom your brows. Be sure to choose a soft brush and a lightweight spray. All you have to do is move the brush through your brows while the hairspray is still wet. And just make sure you're moving in the direction you want your brows to go. Which toothbrush beauty hack sounds the best to you? Coffee filter for blotting. Do you ever suffer from shiny or oily skin? If you do, you might have bought blotting sheets in an attempt to deal with the problem. They help soak up excess oil, giving you a matte complexion. Of course, that's what most of us want when we're about to take a selfie to add to Instagram, right? The only problem is these beauty blotters can be pretty pricey. So how about a cheaper alternative using an everyday item? If you're a keen coffee drinker, you probably have these laying around in your kitchen cupboards already. We're talking about coffee filters. You're probably wondering how to use these to combat shine on your face. It's pretty simple, really. All you have to do is pat the clean coffee filter on the affected areas. Be sure to pat, not rub. If you're doing this after you've applied your makeup, you might notice a little color come off on the filter, but that's normal with any kind of blotting paper. To make your filter go even further, cut it into triangles. This is a particularly useful hack for those with sensitive skin, as cosmetic blotting sheets are sometimes infused with scents or extracts that can lead to irritation. Other options for DIY oil blotting include toilet seat covers and brown paper napkins. Will you try this beauty hack to limit your shine? Band-Aid for Dotty Nail Art when nail art is done well, it looks amazing. But when it's applied badly, it looks a mess. There are certain tools you can buy to help in your quest for perfect nails, but these are usually expensive and tricky to master. So how about trying a clever little manicure hack using a band-aid? You'll need the band-aids that have the perforated holes and two colors of nail polish. Start off by cutting the end off the band-aid that has the holes in it. Hold it up against your nail to be sure you've cut it to the right size. Then paint your nails as normal, allowing time for it to dry fully. Once your polish has dried and hardened, stick the band-aid over your nail. Now, take your other color or varnish and paint over the top of the plaster. The polish will slip through the holes and make that polka dot effect that looks so cool. You'll have to be patient again at this stage and wait until this top layer has dried fully. Once you're sure it's hardened, slowly and carefully peel off the band-aid. Et voila! To get even more creative, you could then repeat the process with another color for multicolored polka dots. The only limit is your imagination and your supply of band-aids. Glue Cuticle Shield Sticking with the subject of nails, do you have trouble keeping your polish off your cuticles when painting your nails? There's a simple hack that will solve this beauty dilemma forever, and it involves basic glue. You know, the kind of glue kids use at school, like Elmer's? Do you remember the joy of peeling dried glue off your skin as a child? Well, now you get to recreate that feeling and get a super neat manicure in the process. This is how you make a cuticle shield using glue. First off, make sure your nails are clean and dry. Then cover your cuticles with Elmer's glue. If you're wondering how to do this, you can pour some glue into a dish and use a small eyeshadow brush to apply it. Now you'll need to be patient. It'll take a few minutes for the glue to fully dry. Once it's hard, you're good to go. Grab your usual polish and paint your nails. Go through all the usual stages you typically do, like two coats of color and a top coat, or whatever floats your manicure boat. It's the waiting game again, as you allow your polish to dry completely. And now comes the moment of truth. Peel away the glue 
glue and you'll see your perfectly clean cuticles underneath. You've protected them from getting covered in polish and you've relived an enjoyable part of your childhood. That's a double win right there. Business Card Mascara Guard How often have you applied your mascara and then found smudges all over your eyelids? We feel your pain. Fortunately, there's a simple beauty hack that can shield your lids from your mascara wand, and it's sitting in your wallet. Yes, that's right, you can use a business card as a mascara guard. Amazing, right? CoverGirl makeup artist Jake Bailey shared his tips with Glamour magazine, and here's how you do it. Take a clean business card and position it on your eyelid. Make sure it's right on the edge and you're pressing down enough for your lashes to stick out. Now you're ready to apply your mascara. Let the wand glide along the face of the card, swiping upwards from the roots to the tips of your lashes. It's important to start your mascara right down at the base of your lashes. Remove the card once you've finished and you'll see that your lids are mascara free. Perfect! You can take this technique even further by creating your own customized mascara shield. Hold a business card over your eye and use a pencil to draw the length and shape of your lid onto the card. Bring the card back down and cut out the semicircle shape. Go ahead and bring the card back over your eye and gently lift up your lid. Apply your mascara while holding the card in this position. It's even easier to do this with your lower lashes. Panty Liner Eyeshadow Catcher it's not just mascara that falls on the wrong parts of your face. Eyeshadow also goes where it shouldn't too. We all know the frustration of eyeshadow fallout. You apply the powder to your lids only to find tiny flecks of it fall onto the tops of your cheeks. It ruins your face makeup, sometimes resulting in having to redo your primer, concealer, foundation, and powder again. It's definitely a pain. But you can stop this from happening with the beauty hack that involves feminine hygiene products. Raid your bathroom cabinets, ladies, because you'll be using panty liner on your face after you've heard about this tip. There is a product on the makeup market called a shadow shield, which is designed to prevent eye makeup from dropping onto your cheeks. These adhesive strips are another expensive bit of kit to add to your bulging cosmetics case. So why not use an everyday item you have in your house instead? You don't need much skill in crafting panty liners into shadow shields either. Simply cut off the round ends of your panty liners and stick them to your cheeks under your eyes. These will catch any stray specks and flecks of shadow. Genius idea, right? Hair Dryer for Curly Lashes Eyelash curlers are an excellent tool for making your eyes look bigger, but do you find your perfectly curled lashes start to droop sooner than you'd like? Well, there's a tool in your hair care kit that can help you here, and that's your hair dryer. The heat from the hair dryer will help set your lashes into a lasting curl. Simply direct the heat towards your eyelash curlers for a few seconds, then allow it to cool a bit before going through your usual curling technique. Celebrity makeup artist Susan Hayden had a few tips for women's health about how to do this, and also how to use a quick blast from your hair dryer to dry your skin as a setting process. The key is to make sure you use a very low heat setting, and be mindful of your skin too. You'll want to have a good level of humidity to ensure you're not causing skin damage. You can actually buy a heated eyelash curler, but you can avoid that expense by trying this technique. Some people also use the flame from a lighter to warm up their curlers for a couple of seconds. But if you don't like the sound of that metal and naked flame combination, you'll want to focus on the hair dryer method. By the way, lighters can also be used for turning coal pencils into gel liners. Spoon for cut crease Spoons aren't just handy utensils for eating soups and ice cream. They also have a whole load of uses in the beauty world. And one of the best beauty applications of a spoon is to create an eyeshadow cut crease. You can make that perfect line of definition on your eyelid with nothing more than a simple spoon. It will help your eyes look deeper and bigger. And this is how you do it. Apply a light base shadow across your eyelid and blend. Then, lay your spoon against your lid so that the curved edge runs along just above your eyelid crease. Trace this crease shade in dark brown with a brush. You can go back over it if you need to. Then blend the crease line for a more natural look. Finish your eye makeup by sweeping the remaining powder along your lower lash line and adding mascara. So that's how to create the perfect cut crease with a spoon. But what about other makeup hacks using this item of cutlery? You can also create eyeliner effects like a wing. Hold the handle of the spoon against the outer corner of your eye. Draw a straight line along it. Next, flip the spoon over to cup your eyelid with the rounded outer edge across the wing line. Draw along this to create the ideal curved line to finish off your look. Tape for cat eyes. 
Do you have trouble keeping your hand still enough to draw the perfect cat eye? You'll want to dip into your stationery drawer as there's a handy little tool in there that will be a great help. We're talking about tape. You can create your very own DIY stencil to apply your eyeliner with, and this is how you do it. Start off by pressing an inch-long piece of tape to your hand a few times. This is to take some of the stickiness away so it doesn't stick too hard to your face. That eye area is pretty delicate after all. Position the tape at the outer corner of your eye your lower lashes. Angle it towards your temple. Now take your eyeliner and start drawing along your upper lash line. As you get to the outer edge, use the tape like a ruler to guide you on. You want the line to go from thick to thin as you draw outwards. Remove the tape and there you have it. If you find the tape removes some of your makeup when it comes off, be sure to apply your eyeliner before your concealer and foundation. This isn't the only use for transparent tape either. You can also use the sticky side of it to pick up stray flecks of glitter from your face with a dabbing motion. Fork for flicks. So we've seen how to use a spoon and tape to help apply eyeliner. And the final household object you can use to get your makeup perfect is a fork. If you think this cutlery staple is only good for spearing food, think again. The straight line of the prong is ideal for getting that perfectly straight eyeliner edge. Simply hold up a fork to the side of your face with the outer edge of the prongs going at an angle towards your temple. Line it up to the outer corner of your eye and rest your eyeliner against it. Draw your line and add that little flick at the end. Just make sure you wipe the fork clean before using it to eat, otherwise you might get inky lips. That's not all either. There were more beauty hacks using forks. How about using the gaps between the tines to give you a very precise line for contouring? You can get a narrow brush in there to work your shading along the sides of your nose. So, what do you think of these extra uses a fork can have? Are you sold on using everyday items to help in your beauty regime? Or are you sticking with your tried and tested makeup products? We'd love to hear. Which of these beauty hacks will you try? Do you have any other tips for using household objects in your makeup application? Let us know in the comments and give our video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.